A.K.A. Cross and Fex A.K.A. Chosen the Fact Back on the deck Getting ready to wreck the set And don't you forget What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel Welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to be rocking and rolling with all you beautiful people around the globe. Family, what's going on? What you talking about, Willis? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Always a pleasure to be kicking down not your beautiful souls around the globe. If it's your first time, consider subscribing, join the family. We'd love to have you. We've got another reaction request. This one right here is from Delightful Donna, and she wants to hear some more riff work. I know you guys are excited for some riff work, and if you're not, check out my previous vids to see why riff work is a force to be reckoned with. This one right here is called At The Mall, and she had this to say, Delightful Donna said, for Gerald, sharing your band with the world. Thank you, Delightful Donna, for the request. Thank riff work for existing. Thank all of you for tuning in. And as always, we're about to dive in and get off tap. So let's get it. Jack was a paper boy. Here's the story of his fall. When he strolled out to meet his joy in the diner at the mall. One of the things I love about riff work is they actually sound like they were part of that 70s movement where rock was freaking just absolutely off the charts. You know what I mean? That magic moment in classic rock where everything was just extra crispy. Every band was extra awesome, freaking extra delicious, extra sensational. Freaking I freaking just absolutely love it. So we're going to continue. Let go. some rhyme stain in there <laughs> you and that ram stain in there whoa uh oh freaking voice uh changing action happening there man that was one of those other things too like you know you listen to some of that earlier rock and they used to not be afraid to experiment with different sounds and different book holders and all these cool things the experimentation was part of the movement i think that also ushered in this amazing just new cool incredible rock sound and I love listening to riff work, freaking partake in that tradition, bringing it to reality, bringing it to life themselves, just infusing that formula that works. When there's a formula that works, why change it? it it's working, bro. It's working. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, doesn't this sound good? Like, 
I love how crispy it sounds. Like, and here's the thing, man, like when you've got the right people together working in unison, you're going to be able to have that continuity. You're going to be able to have that freaking absolute in synchronicity that is going to be the game changer and absolutely take anything to that next level. Riftwork has figured out a way to mesh well together. They're the peas to the mashed potatoes to the gravy to the freaking corn. I absolutely love them. Let's go. kind of hard for me to do riff work these days because I might be seen as being biased because I am working with riff work and doing some stuff together them remixing some of their songs freaking doing some just extra publicity for them help them get out there a bit more and things like that and the other and basically yeah they become part of the fam you know so as such you know doing stuff with my record label and different things like that some might say i'm biased and maybe i am but i'm only biased because there's actually like factual facts stating that they're freaking awesome you can't be unfairly biased when the facts are the facts and these guys are brilliant i don't need to even be biased to tell you that it's just the facts when you hear them you go oh, man riff work okay yeah I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, okay. And that's the thing, man. When it's good, it's good. It's undisputed. You can't freaking argue about it. One is not really the greatest only in theory or in an imaginary tone if you can back it up. Riffwork can back their stuff up, dude. And earlier when I was talking about that winning formula, because look, they figured it out. And it's like Coke. Coke freaking, people fell in love with Coke, right? And I remember there was a time where they went and they attempted to change the formula completely and they had this new Coke thing or something. And it's baffling, right? It's like, bro, if it's not broke, what, what's going on here? You ever see if it's not broke, don't try to fix it? Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, the Coke is perfect. What's going on here? People freaking was not having it. They were like, bro, you need to freaking recognize, like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably the only time in history where Pepsi actually looked better than Coke. And I know that's a really kind of one of those freaking argumentative points, open to opinion. Some of you guys will be like, no, Pepsi's better, Pepsi's better. But nothing beats the real thing, nothing beats the original. Let's be real about it. Coke's the original, Coke's the better one. Okay, let's. I don't even drink either anymore. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had a Coke. Freaking hell, we're talking about like a decade ago or something. I can't remember the last time I've had a Coke. I've had frozen Coke. I can't remember the last time I had frozen Coke and that used to be my drink, man. I used to love drinking the frozen Cokes, you know, the little Slurpees, the frozen ones, man. <sighs> That's been years, bro. I ain't had none of that stuff in ages. Probably a COVID thing for that. <laughs> but uh, look, man, I love riff work. And my point to all of what I was saying about the cold Coke thing wasn't to give them any free publicity. Not that they need it. Freaking hell. They, they don't need my help. Um, but I just wanted to say, look, riff work, they've got it. They've got their sound. They've got their formula. They've got the team in place. They've got the fingers working together to form a strong fist. And to get that knockout punch, <laughs> That's all you need, baby. <laughs> all right, guys. Look, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Donna Leah, for the reaction request. If you guys want to do your own, head over to offtap.life. I got you. And guys, as always, remember to live each moment to the fullest. Keep it off tap. Make sure you go and uh, support Riff Work, support independent artists, show them some love, and I'll catch you in the next one. We out.
dusky twilight 